Health experts say that downtown and central Seattle are seeing the highest rates of fentanyl-related deaths in King County. But the city is due for a windfall from the nationwide opioid settlement, with officials now figuring out how the millions of dollars could be best spent to help fight against addiction to that synthetic drug. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson joins us with some stagger staggering statistics from the local health department that are shaping the debate. Frankie, what are you learning? Health experts say so far this year, 408 people in King County have died from fentanyl. We're not even halfway through the year, and the concern is the death toll could surpass last year's total. Out of the 712 people in King County that died from fentanyl in 2022, majority of them lived in Seattle. There's a huge escalation of overdose deaths in the city. Um, this is a super unfortunate event, and, but um, we also know that this is primarily driven uh, by fentanyl and often within our unhoused population. Seattle City Council's Public Safety and Human Services Committee recently heard from people who are on the front lines fighting the fentanyl and opioid crisis. It's to protect our community members and our people who are most vulnerable. Their stories well. could help the city determine how to best use the $14.2 million received from a nationwide opioid settlement. The money would pay for resources to curb addiction and overdoses. The panel shared how previous grants from the city help provide treatment to those who are struggling. Whether it is going into residential treatment or a detox, or engaging in recovery, um, or whether it is walking the harm reduction agency, people are gonna receive treatment for what they're working on in a way in which they're willing to receive it. And that treatment um, might be um, as little as a fentanyl test strip because to protect their life from what they're doing and empower them. They hope their programs will be considered as the city decides how to allocate the funds over an 18 year period. This is in addition to another settlement agreement signed by city attorney Ann Davison back in April. That is expected to net the city approximately an additional $18.1 million in opioid settlement funds. And it's possible that some or all of that funding could be combined with, with the funding that I've already referenced. Right now, the city is partnering with researchers at University of Washington seeking community input on addiction treatment opportunities. Results of that outreach will determine if the city creates its own plan for the settlement dollars or pool them with King County on a unified plan. Whatever's decided, advocates say action is needed now to help save lives. Maybe one day they'll stop using drugs and maybe one day they won't. But um, what's really important is that we do good by those people. We keep them alive and we mitigate the harms that a extremely toxic drug supply uh, right now is causing. Snohomish County already established its goals for the settlement funds after the county executive revealed his brother died from fentanyl in March. We can expect to hear a draft of the plan from Seattle and the county this summer with a finalized plan coming in the fall. Reporting in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.